the federal opposition has questioned his ability to strike a free trade deal with China. Abbott, however, says Australia is trying to get the best deal we can, but we'll sign up for whatever we can get. For a first timer, you've got to give Abbott some credit for knowing the golden rule of negotiating strategy, play desperate and agree to anything the other side offers. Treasurer Joe Hockey has said that in the interests of securing a free trade agreement with China, the government might abandon its election promise to increase scrutiny of foreign investment in Australian farmland. Now, under the current rules, any foreign company wishing to invest more than $248 million in Australian agricultural land must be scrutinised by the Foreign Investment Review Board, or FERB. And China wants that $248 million FERB threshold increased to $1 billion, while the coalition wants to drop it to just $15 million. Now, I'm no mathematician, but neither does it seem does the Prime Minister, who says he wants a free trade agreement signed with China in 12 months and will take whatever we can get. Which will make the battle for negotiating a deal beneficial to Australia about as difficult as Abbott keeping his word after an election victory. I'll just write down what the Australian government is willing to offer. Fine. Yeah. Oh God, my client really did have a number more like this in mind. <gasps> oh goodness, that is a lot of money. Yes, it is. Oh. You see, this much money would require some kind of scrutiny. Oh, God, would it? Really? Oh, that is such a bugger because investing $1 billion, $15 million at a time really is a terrible inconvenience. I'll be on my way. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Can I see it? But it's only natural that other countries would look at Australia and dream of farming here. I mean, we've got a stable economy, fertile land, and if a farmer wants a wife, we give them 36 to choose from. And of course, one great advantage of having Chinese farms in Australia would be maintaining the tradition of our products being made in China, with all the national pride of them being made in Australia. But it would also make for some changes to the traditional image of Australian agriculture. For one thing, our iconic commercials might require some small adjustments. My dad or more specifically, my China-based foreign investment fund. Or possibly China. To make the cordial, that I like best. Please realign your cordial preferences to Chinese manufactured flavoured waters. So it's an important issue to resolve because, as Joe Hockey explained... We need foreign investment because Australia cannot fund its own needs. It hasn't been able to fund its own needs since 1788. I mean, of course, there was that brief 20-minute period after the first fleet arrived in 1788 when Australia was the richest, most self-sufficient country in the world, but it didn't last very long. A new country, fresh start, free from reliance upon Mother England. We are our own men. And what are we going to do about food and supplies? We will borrow them from England. Shit.